get ready to go. We're glad that you're all here, so now it's time to start the show. We're not in school, but we can still pretend by making music until this ends. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey there, Falcons. Well, happy early Thanksgiving. This is our last week before our Thanksgiving break, so we got some fun music to make this week. We got a couple of things to practice. Some hard work this week, but it's going to pay off in the end because we're going to be making music, going to be having some fun, and it's going to get us ready to move on to our next set of songs and our next set of activities. So, enough talking. Let's make some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, third grade, it's starting to get chilly out there. It's starting to get colder. Thanksgiving's coming up, and the weather's getting colder. And you know, sometimes when it gets really, really cold, it feels even colder when the wind comes blowing through. And I have a song about the wind. It's called Who Has Seen the Wind? It goes like this. Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. When the leaves bow down their heads, the wind is passing through. Nice short little song. Kind of reminds me of a blustery day a little bit. I'll sing it again for you. Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. When the leaves bow down their heads, the wind is passing through. I'll sing this time, you'll go back. Listen. Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. When the leaves bow down their heads, the wind is passing through. Good. Sing it with me this time. Here we go. Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. When the leaves bow down their heads, the wind is passing through. Nice. You know, this song, um, when the wind is blowing, you, you ever hear things like blowing around sometimes outside, like the catches a tree branch or something, or lots of things just start blowing around, and, you know, I, call on a second. Kind of sounds a little bit like our castanets, doesn't it? Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. When the leaves bow down their heads, the wind is passing through. Now, you can do the rhythm with this song just like I did, or here's what you can do. You can sort of create your own sounds to go along with it. Make a short little pattern. Here's a short little pattern. Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. When the leaves bow down their heads, the wind is passing through. Almost sounds like that clickety clack of the wind blowing things around outside. So grab your castanets, come up with a fun little pattern that you can play along with the song. You can come up with many different patterns. So you can challenge yourself. The more difficult the pattern, the harder it is to sing it while you do it. So see if you can sing the song while you do a pattern. Here's another one. Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. When the leaves are bowed their heads, the wind is passing through. Told you it's hard. Told you it's not easy. So go over the pattern, see if you can sing it, see if you can play it, and make sure you hold on tight so they don't blow away. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, third grade, a quick review from last week. Last week we learned about a brand new sound. The lowest sound we've ever heard before. A sound that's so low, it is a skip lower than Do. Do used to be the bottom. Do used to be the lowest one. But now, we've got one that's even lower. It's a skip lower. We said in music, whenever you sound that's a skip lower than Do, we have an interesting name for it. We call it Low La. Hmm. Low La. We'll get back to why we call that in just a second. This is what it sounds like in our phrase. Mi, Re, Do, Do, Re, Do, La. We have our hand signs too. Can you show me me? Show me Re. Show me do, and show me our new one, low la. It's our lowest one. So sing along with me this time. Mi, re, do, do, re, do, la. Try with your other hand. Here we go. Mi, re, do, do, re, do, la. Oh, both hands. Mi, re, do, do, re, do, la. Good. This time, I'm going to sing it. I just want you to echo back by yourself. I'll sing, you echo. 
mi, re, do, do, re, do, la. Good. This time I'm going to sing on Lou. I want you to sing back. I want you to echo back on the soul fetching. So I'm going to sing on Lou. You don't sing on Lou. You sing on soul fetching. Listen. Lou, 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 Lou. Good. Okay. Now, last week, we showed you how do we have this low lot. Well, first of all, I put this up. I put up these steps. And on these steps, I put up the soul by James that we know from before, the ones that we should know from before. We've got these five sounds. These five sounds. Attention, anyone that received a Falcon trade certificate, please report to the Falcon for our picture. Thank you. You heard him. Report for a picture. Don't report for a picture. You guys can't drive, so just stay at your house and let's keep doing this, okay? We got five sounds. Five sounds, right? And these five are called a pentatonic scale. And this pentatonic scale has these five. But we have a problem. If we want to add any more solfege sounds, we're out of steps. So we have to figure out where we're going to add our steps. Well, it's a skip lower than do. So remember, we have to add not one step, but two more steps. And we have a low la. Now, how do we have two la's on here? Well, we talked about it last week. We said in music, anytime we go eight steps, eight steps, we go something called an octave. Can you guys say octave? Octave reminds me of other words. It reminds me of octagon, the shape. Octopus, the animal. And those words always remind me of a number. They remind me of the number eight. Octagon, eight sides. Octopus, eight tentacles. Octave is eight steps. Count with me. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When we go eight steps, we go an octave. What that means is wherever we start, if we go down eight steps, we end up on a low version of where we started. If we start on a bottom and go up eight steps, we end up on a high version. So now we have a low la and we have a high la because they are an octave apart. A little bit tricky to understand, but that's how it works in music. Eight steps is an octave. What does this look like on our staff? You're going to need some paper. If you want to make your own staff, don't forget, you need a ruler, mark it on the edge, you're going to mark it at two inches, three, four, five, and six, and then slide it, two, three, four, five, six, and then connect them so you get these straight lines like that, okay? So we have our straight lines, you have a staff, hopefully you've made them, actually just make a whole bunch of these, you're going to need them for today, so get ready to make some staffs, okay? Staff paper is what we call it. So I'm going to put on here what we need to make this work. I'm going to put a little reminder first, I'm going to put a solfege reminder down here. Mi, re, do, do, re, do, la. Notice for low la, I put a little comma to show that it's the low one. I have to show if, if I just put an L, it could be high la, it could be low la. This shows me which la it is. Now, we said last week that in music, our soul fetch names can actually go anywhere we want them to go. The only thing is they have to all move together. So I'm going to tell you, I'd like you to put me, um, let's put me up here on the third line. Make sure you put this in. Copy along with me. It's actually good if you do that, okay? Third line, one, two, three, is me, okay? That means Ray is a step lower. It's a step lower, so that means Ray is going to be in the second space, not the line. It's only a step lower, so it's going to be in between the lines in the space. Yep. Okay. And then Do is another step lower, so it's going to be on the line right below that, the second line, just like that. And then I got another Do, so I'll put another one of those. And then I've got another ray, which we said is on the second space. And just copy along with me. Pause the video if you have to. It's fine. I won't be offended. And then do again is on the second line. And when do is on the second line like that, that means low la is on the first line way at the bottom. Yes. It's a skip lower. It's not a step lower. That's what's different about it. It's a skip lower, low la. Good. Then we connect them with our stems like that. And we can put that, and we can put our bar lines, and there we go. We got our soul fetch sounds. Mi, re, do, do, re, do, la. Just like that. That's how it works. Okay. So what I would like you to do is make some staff paper. Get it all ready because today we are going to be writing out some music from, from some songs that we've been singing. And we're going to discover that low la, our new octave sound, is actually in a lot of these. So get some staff paper ready and get ready to make some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, third grade now, you're going to need some staff paper. In fact, I'd ask you to make three copies of this. Remember, if you want to make it, you get a ruler and boom, 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 boom. Five lines, straight lines, make sure they're equally spaced apart. You can use a ruler, you can figure out how to do that, okay? 
Really important that you have these because we're going to write out some music right now. We're going to write out some songs, some phrases from songs that use our brand new soul fed shame name, low la, an octave lower than la. Let's start with, uh, well, you know, let's take a little trip. Let's go to China, shall we? Let's go to China. Let's go to the Yangtze River, the third longest river in the world. Yahoo, Yahoo, hey. Yahoo, Yahoo, hey. Hi, I, I, hi, I, I, Yahoo, Yahoo, hey. Good. Now, I'm going to actually start by putting our steps. These might be kind of important to keep to. So if you already have this written out, great. I'm going to rewrite mine just one more time. And I think it's important that you have this because it's really going to help us to figure out what we have going on in this song. And in a lot of the songs we were singing. Listen to the phrase I want to write out. Yahoo, Yahoo, hey. Hmm. Okay, I'll give you a clue on this one. This one actually starts on low la. Can you figure out the rest of it? Lu, 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 lu. Hear the way the melody goes? Lu, 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 lu. Did you figure it out? La, do, re, do, la. Ooh, okay. Here's where you need your staff paper, okay? Let's make a little reminder. These are always really important to help keep our brains focused. Here we go. We're going to do la, do, re, do, la. Now, you might notice something about some of these notes. La lasts for two beats. What do we call a note that lasts for two beats? One sound that lasts for two beats? It's a half note, exactly right. Now, low la, we're going to say, is on this first line. So the first note is going to be on the first line. Don't color it in, though. It's a half note. So just leave it like that, and we'll put a stem right away as well. Good. La, do. Oh, it sounds like do is also two beats, so it's another half note. But where does do go? Do is a skip higher. Low la is on the first line. Do, yes, on the second line. Good. Okay. La, do. Re, do. Okay, these aren't half notes, but where does re go? Re is a step higher than do. Re is a step higher. So re is going to be in the second space, just like that. Re. And then do, we already said, is on the second line, so we'll put that too. And then we finish down here on low la, which is where we started. We'll put it at the end. Careful when you write your notes out. Make sure they don't cross each other. Make sure they're not on top of each other. Make sure we go from left to right, just like you write words, C-A-T, cat. Same thing with these notes. You got to make sure they are spread out like that. Take some time, if you need to, to copy this music. Make sure you copy it, okay? Have it on your staff. Pause the video if you have to. That's fine. I'm going to also put our bar lines, I think. I think it's important to keep our bar lines just like that. Okay. So pause it. Make sure you have it. Do you have it? Let's sing it. Can you read your music? I'll read my music. Here we go. La, do, re, do, la. Great. It's a good example from the Yangtze Bobich Chanty. Okay. Go ahead and grab another piece of staff paper because we're going to go to another song now. Um, let's go to actually our brand new one that we just learned today. Sometimes on the Yangtze boat, it probably might get a little windy. And uh, so I'm thinking of is this. Who has seen the wind? Oh, that new one that we just sang today. Yeah. Who has seen the wind? Mm, hold on a second. That first phrase sounds perfect, actually. Lu, 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 lu. Hmm. Lu, 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 lu. Yeah, wait a minute. Hmm. Sounds like we start on low la again. Lu, 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 lu. Can you figure out what it would be? La la do re mi. La la do re mi. Exactly. Get a new piece of stamp paper. Let's make a little reminder down here. La la do re mi. Okay. Um, we start on low la. Low la, we said we can put on the first line. Keep it there for now. And we actually have two in a row this time, so we'll put two like that. And then we've got do, which we said is a skip higher. So we put it on the second line. We skip that first space. 
Then we go to Ray, which is in the, yes, second space. And finally, we get to me, but listen to me. La, la, do, re, mi. Oh, it's another half note. Yes, and it's on the third line. A couple tricky things here. Uh, we're going to connect these. we got toddies. Yes. And then, oh, actually, in the third line, our stems whoosh, have to go the opposite way. So careful with that. Copy this if you need to. Pause it. No problem. Make sure you have this written on your staff paper. The more you write this out, the better you'll get at it. So make sure you're pausing it. Make sure you're copying that down, okay? Take a little bit of time to do that. Okay, have it written. Let's sing this one together. La, la, do, re, mi. Good. It's a little bit of a tricky one, but it sounds pretty nice, especially when you write out like that. Good. Let's do, uh, let's do one more. Speaking of the wind being outside, reminds me of a place that we went a couple weeks ago. Lay down, boys, and take a little nap. Lay down, boys, and take a little nap. Lay down, boys, and take a little nap. 14 miles to the Cumberland Gap. Hmm, there's a phrase in this one. It's actually the second phrase. This one's a little bit tricky. Lay down, boys, and take a little nap. Hmm, lay down, boys, and take a little nap. Let's consult this for a second. Lou, Lou, Lou. Okay, that sounds really familiar how it starts. Lou, Lou, Lou. Me, right? Lou, Lou, Lou. Lou, 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 Lou. Mi, re, do, do. Mm, 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 mm. Figure it out. Mi, re, do, do. La, la, do, do, do. Ooh, that is tricky. Try that again. Mi, re, do, do. La, la, do, do, do. Hmm. Okay. A lot of notes in this one. This is a, save the trickiest one for last. Let's make a little reminder first. Get your staff paper. Here we go. Mi, re, do, do, la, la, do, do, do. Ooh, that's a lot of notes. Oh, boy. Okay, save the trickiest one for last. Here we go. Let's start with me. Me, we said, is going to go, yes, on the third line. We can move it there. And then Ray is going to go in the second space. Yes, we can move it there. And then Do, we said, is on the second line. We actually have two of these in a row this time. Yep. And then now we've got two low laws, and they are on the first line. Try to keep them all pretty close together here, guys, because you don't have a whole lot of room. You don't want to have your notes on top of each other, okay? Make sure they're all coming after one another. Then two more does, and then finally, actually, three does, because we have one more at the very, very end. Now, this has got some cool rhythms in it, too. It's got toddy, toddy, takadimi, ta. Ooh, look at that. Wow. That is a tricky phrase. Take some time. Copy that. Pause it if you need to, but copy that. Make sure you have it written just like that, okay? So pause the video if you have to. Make sure you have it written now. Copy that. Shouldn't take you too long, but take your time to make sure your notes are in the right spot. Okay, you have it written now. Let's sing it, and let's point to it while we sing it. Mi, re, do, do, la, la, do, do, do. Oof, that is a tricky one. Try it one more time. Mi, re, do, do, la, la, do, do, do. Wow. Low la is a really cool note. It's an octave lower than high la, and we can use it so many different ways in so many different songs. So if you want to, get some more staff paper. You can actually write out some more music and uh, have some fun with that. So enjoy low la, enjoy that octave, and enjoy making some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Well, we sure had fun this week, didn't we? So until next time... Thank you.